the law of one. Unabridged transcription. A contact between the L and L group in registered trademark and the social memory complex known as RAW. Session 28. I am RAW. I greet you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. I communicate now. Questioner. I may be backtracking a little bit and make a few false starts today because I think we are at possibly the most important part of what we are doing in trying to make it apparent through questioning how everything is one, and how it comes from one intelligent infinity. This is difficult for me to do, so please bear with my errors in questioning. The concept that I have right now of the process, using both what you have told me and some of Dewey Larson's material having to do with the physics of the process, I have the concept that intelligent infinity expands outward from all locations everywhere. It expands outward in every direction uniformly like the surface of a balloon or a bubble expanding outward from every point everywhere. It expands outward at what's called unit velocity or the velocity of light. This is Larson's idea of the progression of what he calls space-time. Is this concept correct? I am raw. This concept is incorrect as is any concept of the one intelligent infinity. This concept is correct in the context of one particular logos, or love, or focus of this creator which has chosen its, shall we say, natural laws and ways of expressing them mathematically and otherwise. The one undifferentiated intelligent infinity, unpolarized, full and whole, is the macrocosm of the mystery clad being. We are messengers of the law of one. Unity, at this approximation of understanding, cannot be specified by any physics but only be activated or potentiated intelligent infinity due to the catalyst of free will. This may be difficult to accept. However, the understandings we have to share begin and end in mystery. Questioner, well, we had yesterday arrived at a point where we were considering colors of light. You said that the nature of the vibratory patterns of your universe is dependent upon the configurations placed on the original material or light by the focus of love using its intelligent energy to create a certain pattern of evolutions or densities. Then after this material you said that there's further information which you'd be happy to share, but we ran out of time. Could you complete the further information on that? I am raw. In discussing this information we then, shall we say, snap back into the particular methods of understanding or seeing that which is that the one, sound vibration complex, Dewey, offers. This being correct for the second meaning of intelligent infinity, the potential which then through catalyst forms the kinetic. This information is a natural progression of inspection of the kinetic shape of your environment. You may understand each color or ray as being, as we had said, a very specific and accurate a portion of intelligent energy's representation of intelligent infinity, each ray having been previously inspected in other regards. This information may be of aid here. We speak now non-specifically to increase the depth of your conceptualization of the nature of what is. The universe in which you live is recapitulation in each part of intelligent infinity. Thus you will see the same patterns repeated in physical and metaphysical areas. The rays or portions of light being, as you surmise, those areas of what you may call the physical illusion which rotate, vibrate, or are of a nature that may be, shall we say, counted or categorized in rotation manner in space-time as described by the one known as Dewey. Some substances having various of the rays in a physical manifestation visible to the eye, this being apparent in the nature of your crystallized minerals which you count as precious, the ruby being red and so forth. Questioner, this light that occurred is a consequence of vibration which is a consequence of love. I am going to ask if that statement is right. Is that correct? I am raw. This statement is correct. Questioner, okay. This light then can condense into material as we know it in our density, into all of our chemical elements because of rotations of the vibration at quantized intervals or units of angular velocity. Is this correct? I am raw. This is quite correct. Questioner, thank you. I am wondering. What is the catalyst or the activator of the rotation? What causes the rotation so that the light condenses into our physical or chemical elements? I am raw. It is necessary to consider the enabling function of the focus known as love. This energy is of an ordering nature. It orders in a cumulative way from greater to lesser so that when its universe, as you may call it, is complete. The manner of development of each detail is inherent in the living light and thus will develop in such and such a way. Your own universe having been well studied in an empirical fashion by those you call your scientists and having been understood or visualized, shall we say, with greater accuracy by the understandings or visualizations of the one known as Dewey. Questioner, 
when does individualization or the individualized portion of consciousness come into play? How does this individualization occur and at what point does individualized consciousness take over in working on the basic light? I am raw. You remain carefully in the area of creation itself. In this process we must further confuse you by stating that the process by which free will acts upon potential intelligent infinity to become focused intelligent energy takes place without the space-time of which you are so aware as it is your continuum experience. The experience or existence of space-time comes into being after the individuation process of logos or love has been completed and the physical universe, as you would call it, has coalesced or begun to draw inward while moving outward to the extent that that which you call your sun bodies have in their turn created timeless chaos coalescing into what you call planets, these vortices of intelligent energy spending a large amount of what you would call first density in a timeless state, the space-time realization being one of the land teachings of this density of beingness. Thus we have difficulty answering your questions with regard to time and space and their relationship to the what you would call, original creation which is not a part of space-time as you can understand it. Questioner, thank you. Does a unit of consciousness, an individualized unit of consciousness, create, say, a unit of a creation? I will give an example. Would one individualized consciousness create one galaxy of stars, the type that has many millions of stars in it? Does this happen? I am raw. This can happen. The possibilities are infinite. Thus a Logos may create what you call a star system or it may be the Logos creating billions of star systems. This is the cause of the confusion in the term galaxy, for there are many different Logos entities or creations and we would call each, using your sound vibration complexes, a galaxy. Questioner, let's take as an example the planet that we are on now and tell me how much of the creation was created by the same logos that created this planet. I am raw. This planetary logos is a strong logos creating approximately 250 billion, 250 billion of your star systems for its creation. The, shall we say, laws or physical ways of this creation will remain, therefore, constant. Questioner, then what you're saying is that the lenticular star system which we call a galaxy that we find ourselves in with approximately 250 billion other suns like our own was created by a single logos. Is this correct? I am raw. This is correct. Questioner, now, since there are many individualized portions of consciousness in this lenticular galaxy, did this logos then subdivide into a more individualization of consciousness to create these consciousness or divide into these consciousness? I am raw. You are perceptive. This is also correct although an apparent paradox. Questioner, could you tell me what you mean by an apparent paradox? I am raw. It would seem that if one logos creates the intelligent energy ways for a large system there would not be the necessity or possibility of a further sub-logos differentiation. However, within limits, this is precisely the case and it is perceptive that this has been seen. Questioner, thank you. Could you please make the instrument cough? Cough. Questioner, thank you. Do all of the individualized portions of the logos, then, in our isle called the lenticular galaxy that we are in, 250 billion suns, or stars, I will call that the major galaxy just so we will not get mixed up in our terms. Does all the consciousness, then, in this individualized form that goes into what we are calling the major galaxy start out and go through all of the densities in order, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 or then to 8 or is there, shall I say, some who start higher up the rank and go in a so that there is always a mixture of intelligent consciousness in the galaxy, I am raw, the latter is more nearly correct, in each beginning there is the beginning from infinite strength. Free will acts as a catalyst. Beings begin to form the universes. Consciousness then begins to have the potential to experience. The potentials of experience are created as a part of intelligent energy and are fixed before experience begins. However, there is always, due to free will acting infinitely upon the creation, a great variation in initial responses to intelligent energy's potential. Thus almost immediately the foundations of the, shall we call it, hierarchical nature of beings begins to manifest as some portions of consciousness or awareness learned through experience in a much more efficient manner. Questioner, is there any reason for some portions being much more efficient in learning? I am raw. Is there any reason for some to learn more quickly than others? Look, if you wish, to the function of the will the, shall we say, attraction to the upward spiraling line of light. Questioner, now, as the major galaxy is created, 
and I am assuming all of its densities I am assuming all there are eight densities created when this major galaxy is created. Is this correct? I am wrong. This is basically correct. However, it is well to perceive that the eighth density functions also as the beginning density or first density, in its latter stages, of the next octave of densities. Questioner, are you saying then there are an infinite number of octaves of densities 1 through 8? I am wrong. We wish to establish that we are truly humble messengers of the law of one. We can speak to you of our experiences and our understandings and teach learn in limited ways. However, we cannot speak in firm knowledge of all the creations. We know only that they are infinite. We assume an infinite number of octaves. However, it has been impressed upon us by our own teachers that there is a mystery clad unity of creation in which all consciousness periodically coalesces and again begins. Thus we can only say we assume an infinite progression though we understand it to be cyclical in nature and, as we have said, clad in mystery. Questioner, thank you. Would you please make the instrument cough again? Cough. Questioner, thank you. When this major galaxy is formed by the logos, Polarity then exists in the sense that we have electrical polarity, a gravitational effect that probably isn't polarity, I'm. I'll have to ask that question. We do have electrical polarity existing at that time. Is this correct? I am wrong. I accept this as correct with the stipulation that what you term electrical be understood as not only the one, Larson, stipulated its meaning but also in what you would call the metaphysical sense. Questioner, are you saying then that we not only have a polarity of electrical charge but also a polarity in consciousness at that time? I am wrong. This is correct. All is potentially available from the beginning of your physical space-time. It then being the function of consciousness complexes to begin to use the physical materials to gain experience to then polarize in a metaphysical sense. The potentials for this are not created by the experiencer but by intelligent energy. This will be the last full question of this session due to our desire to foster this instrument as it slowly regains physical complex energy. May we ask if you have one or two questions we may answer shortly before we close? Questioner, I am assuming that the process of creation, then, after the original creation of the major galaxy, is continued by the further individualization of consciousness of the Logos so that there are many, many portions of individualized consciousness then creating further items, you might say, for experience all over the galaxy. Is this correct? I am wrong. This is correct. For within the, shall we say, guidelines or ways of the Logos, the sub-logos may find various means of differentiating experiences without removing or adding to these ways. Questioner, thank you. And since we are out of time I'll just ask if there is anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or help the contact. I am wrong. This instrument is well adjusted. You are conscientious. I am wrong. I leave you, my friends, in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth then rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator. Adonai. End of session 28.